what I have in my hand here is a booklet called Sex in Marriage, um, a family doctor booklet um, produced by the British Medical Association. Uh, and it was produced and given out in doctor surgeries um, in the very late 1960s, we think around 1967. And for LGBT plus history, 1967 is a really interesting year. It was the year that homosexuality or consenting acts between two men was decriminalised in England and Wales. And a lot of people see this as the first step on the route to equal, well, legal equality for LGBT plus people. But what is most interesting is reading this book, there is, of course, no mention of um, same-sex relationships. Um, there's essentially no mention of premarital sexual relationships. This book presumes that sex is for two people who are married. Uh, and being 1967, if you're married, that means two people who are male and female. And it's got some rather interesting advice in there. Um, some of it would be quite alien to, to us today and quite, quite distasteful. Um, one of the quotes of the book says that a, a woman who leaves work for the smaller sphere of domesticity will no, about, no doubt be delighted. Um, no more rushing for the train, no more shopping at uh, ungodly hours, no more hoovering well into the night. Um, it is quite surprising to see how far societal attitudes towards sex have changed in the last 50 years. And I think books like this are important to highlight because they show that societal attitudes weren't massively changed in 1967. The decriminalisation of homosexuality in England and Wales didn't change society as a whole. And in 1967, society was still fiercely conservative um, in its ideas of sexual values.